Welcome to my top 10 Beyblade list. In this video, we are going to be covering the best Dynamite Battle and Burst Ultimate Beyblades. Before we start, let's establish some rules. Firstly, I'm not covering random booster Beyblades as they can be a lot more expensive and harder to acquire. And my ratings will not be taking combo alternatives or upgrades into consideration as there's just too many options. We're going to focus on how strong the stock default Beyblades are. All right, so hope you enjoy. Coming in at number 10, we have Ziphoid Excalibur, the culmination of all the previous Excaliburs with a fancy new sword gimmick. You do not want to be on the receiving end of the sword attack from this fella. It hits harder than any other Beyblade at times. Unfortunately, it's just unreliable and inconsistent, which is why it's at number 10. Number 9, we have Ultimate Valkyrie, once again an evolution inspired by its predecessors. There's a lot to love about Ultimate Valkyrie, from its rubber blades to its evolving driver. In the end, we have a solid Beyblade that is juiced up, however it falls a bit flat compared to the Meteor Beyblades. Sliding into number 8 is Greatest Raphael, a bit of an outcast when it comes to Beyblades. Someone at Takara told me thought it was a good idea to slap a bear trap onto a Beyblade, and darn tootin' were they onto something with it. It's a powerhouse but rather narrow with its abilities. Luckily, the Extend Plus driver carries this bay to the finish line. Exploding into number 7, we're looking at Dynamite Belial. I was a bit surprised at this one as I'm not the biggest fan of Dynamite Belial, but oh boy oh boy does this bay hold its own in a fight. I have no idea how, but it goes toe to toe with beefy bays. It's a jack of all trades, but a master of none. That's how I view this guy. Moving on to number 6, we have Divine Belial. So everything I just said about Dynamite Belial, yeah. It's like that, but even better. By that, I mean it has insane burst power. It will destroy other attack types with a massive hits. Plus a small personal bias. I think it just looks way better. Bouncing into slot five, we got Vanished Fafnir. This rubbery little fella doesn't look like much in battle, I know, but give him a chance and with some good strategy, you have a Beyblade that sneaks small wins, which really isn't my style, but for some people, it's one heck of a Beyblade. Moving on to number four, we have Gatling Dragon. And let me tell you, Gatling is not the right name for this Beyblade. Tank Dragon, Bomb Dragon, Giga Dragon, something that entails just how freaking tanky this beast of a Beyblade is. It absorbs hits like a champion. Good luck knocking this guy out of the stadium. At number three is Guilty Longinus. I'm convinced this is the most consistent Beyblade for heavy KO hits constant knockouts left and right, Guilty Longinus is extremely powerful, but it's actually so strong that it will cut your fingers and make you bleed if you're not careful. Slicing into number two is Astral Spriggan. In all my testing with Astral Spriggan, I was blown away by its win rates, pushing 70, 80, 90% win rates in test sessions. Always impressive, but that's not everything. The customizing options result in more options, more routes to victory. If you know how to optimize it, this is one heck of a Beyblade. Finally, we are arriving at the best DB slash BU Beyblade. Number one is, of course, Prominence Valkyrie. This is the singular best Beyblade right now out of the box in terms of strength. It could possibly even compete at tournaments as suck, though I don't know if I would recommend that. My point is, this Beyblade is extremely heavy, has insane stamina, and the ring pushes its win rate even further when it pops off and distracts the other Beyblade. Alright, that's all 10. Thanks for watching, guys. Do you agree with my ranking? What would you change? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, Blaster, signing out.